The Unspoken Truth About Pests on U.S. Farm Report, brought to you by AgriSure Traits. Combine the power of AgriSure Duracade plus AgriSure Viptera trait stacks to control 16 yield damaging above and below ground pests. Well, fall armyworms are taking over fields, hitting everything from soybeans to rice in Arkansas. But until Wednesday of this week, growers in the nation's leading rice producing state only had one insecticide approved for use on armyworms and rice, a product armyworms are actually growing resistant to. That's why Friday, University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture filed documentation with EPA to allow for emergency use of a second product. And Wednesday, EPA granted that crisis exemption. But entomologists say the outbreak has already cost growers millions of dollars in losses. And this weekend, we cover the true costs of pests as we wrap up our series on the unspoken truth about pests. In the 40 years Gus Lorenz has focused on pests. I can just tell you right now that this fall armyworm outbreak is the worst I've seen in my career. The fall armyworm outbreak in Arkansas this year is one for the record books. It's not just rice, it's they're also in beans, really, really bad soybeans. Uh, we see a few in cotton. Uh, but they're in grain, sorghum, uh, corn. Loren says the fall armyworm infestation is widespread, not just by geography, but by crops. It's from one end of the state to the other, all four directions. It's, it's bad everywhere. And the pastures, we've had several fields that have been, the hay crop was totally devastated on the acreage. As Arkansas farmers and entomologists work to battle the pest, Loren says this year has been the perfect storm in the worst way. We had the, the June, May and June rains, the floods that were so bad, devastating to our growers. And so they had to go back and replant a lot of that acreage. So we got a late crop. 15 inches of rain in a matter of days caused this. And as farmers worked to replant so late, it sparked another problem to sprout early. They don't call it fall armyworm for nothing. It usually strikes us late, but this year it, it started early. I've never seen so many fall armyworms. Anywhere you go, there everybody's got fall armyworms. It's a problem so potent this year. A lot of times you can see them from, you know, the truck driving down the road, especially in some really bad situations. You don't have to walk or drive far to see it. There'll just be stems out there in the field, uh, in soybean fields, they just leave stems. It's kind of easy to spot out there. Once the worms grow to an inch long, the damage can be devastating, especially in rice. And we can tell you based on that work that when you get around at Green Ring and you start looking, you get around 20% defoliation, it can cost you anywhere from 15 to even up to 50% yield loss. What can be even more detrimental is how the pest delays maturity. So if they eat it down and it has to grow back, it can delay maturity by up to 30 days. And that's the difference in making a crop a lot of times and not. And in soybeans, the surge in armyworm infestation can cause crop loss costs to add up quickly. In soybeans, you know, vegetative stage soybeans, you know, yield losses a lot of times on late planted stuff you know, range up to about 30, 35% yield loss from defoliation on those small soybeans. Now you get later on in the growing season in reproductive soybeans, and it can be a lot higher than even that. Thrash says the other issue in soybeans this year is an increase in weed pressure. Whenever it finally dries up enough to where the grower can make a herbicide application, you know, he kills the grass. Well, the army worms on the grass out there in the field, they move off onto those soybeans and a lot of times those worms are already pretty good size and that's when they do 90% of what they're gonna eat in their whole lifetime is those last couple of instars. So they'll just eat them down to stems. As farmers in Arkansas battle an army of worms, it's an issue Lorenz says could be coming for the Midwest next. I think the folks up in the Midwest, you know, Northern Missouri and up in Indiana and Illinois, I think they'll all get a little taste of this fall army worm before it's over with. Farm Journal agronomist Ken Ferry says the true cost of pest pressure really varies on insect. We've seen 
corn borer pressures that amount to 30, 40 bushel to the acre. And we talk about rootworm, it depends on whether the rootworm pressure is heavy enough and the corn goes down. If the corn's still standing, it might be seven to 10 bushel. If the corn goes down, it can be 30 to 40 bushels. But he says the cost doesn't always come just from yield. For instance, the issue of down corn, whether that be a, a rootworm issue or maybe some corn borer issue, it slows down the harvest. So, and not only would it take away yields, it may double the amount of time in harvesting. And the situation where that cost in the fall can be pretty expensive. That's why agronomist Missy Bauer says timeliness is key. Because if you go out here and you're too late, you've already had too much damage, then we've given up too much yields. The lurking insects aren't just above ground, but below what the eye can see. They're feeding on those corn roots when you can't see what's going on. So unless you're digging up uh, the plants and doing some rootworm floats, you really have no idea what that pressure is like until they actually hatch. And now you got beetles clipping on the silks instead. But so it's those things below ground that I think we got to be cautious of. And for farmers in the south, the growing concern about pests this year aren't just with fall army worms but plant bugs. And so if you get three applications prior to bloom and you got four or five applications once the cotton starts blooming, then we're looking at maybe seven, eight, even nine applications to control this plant bug situation in cotton for a lot of our growers. And in the quest to protect valuable bushels and pounds in fields, Lorenz says every detail counts. Maintaining the, the area around the field and, and keeping those turn rows where they're not producing seed heads can can have a huge impact. That's as insects move from one host plant to the next. And they move off of that weed grass onto the soybeans and eat it down to the ground. So if you're going to go out there and make late applications on on grass in a field, make sure it's not loaded with fall army worms because they're just going to move right over on it. Now, entomologists say there are things you can do to help control pests from a production standpoint. That includes planting early and tightening row width. But that's not always practical or possible. All right, up next, the egg debate continues. More thoughts about eggs.